John, if I may, we are uh, we're celebrating a birthday tonight, Trish. It's not it's not Trish's birthday. It's her mother's birthday. Is that right? And we have her here with us tonight. Is <laughs> that fact? That's correct. Wow. Well, that's that's a surprise. <laughs> what Happy birthday, mom! Happy birthday, mom! I don't know if you could see that. My mother. What is it? It's a little acorn with her ashes in it. <laughs> wow! So okay. you can use it as a shaker. Yeah, you know, you better stop. This is this has all the makings of a twisted Leave It to Beaver episode. <laughs> <laughs> you better put that down. <laughs> You want to see inside? No, 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 I don't. I don't even know if this is supposed to... No, no, don't open it. Don't open it. No, 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 no. No, you're freaking me out now. Is this supposed to be comedy? Because I'm not, I'm not like, finding this... It's funny. her birthday. It's November 4th. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay, Beef. Put it down. <laughs> wow. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mrs. McCabe. <laughs> what was her first name? Yeah, it was. What was the first name? Elettra. E L E T R A. Yes. Now, does that have a meaning? Is, is that it a name? was the name of one of Tesla's daughters, I think. Tesla did uh, many discoveries that involve electricity. Electricity, yeah. And Tesla was involved in a major fight with Thomas Edison. He wanted to use DC. That's right. And Edison wanted to use so alternating current. Right. And, and many people say that Tesla should have won. I'm just saying. Well, uh, wasn't the AC uh, versus DC had to do with uh, the fact of that first uh, blown execution on in the electric chair? Because that was the DC current? Well, they just didn't get enough batteries. <laughs> <laughs> they just kept adding 9-volt batteries. To, what did they do anything? <laughs> Why didn't they just go to 7 Eleven? <laughs> get some more. Somebody has a 7 Eleven, get more batteries. <laughs> He's not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> they said his fingers exploded. There is a great His video. fingers exploded. His fingers exploded. The tips of his fingers blew off. His eyes blew out of their sockets. I'm serious. <laughs> that is great. And he was still alive. <laughs> Why don't they still. <laughs> Yes, and they said the people in the room, because they sat there like it was going to be interesting, they just, they just thought he'd die. And they were like, oh, and they had to clear the room because it was filled with smoke. And then they had to, this guy was alive for like an hour and a half with his fingers blown off, his eyes blown out of their sockets, smoke coming out of him. And I saw a, a video, a guy in the 70s uh, did a, a, a filmed a bunch of executions. Uh, and they're all over YouTube, you can find them. Um, and he showed one of them being an electrocution. And they put these these bandages over your eyes and they taped them down uh, because your eyes would explode and liquid would leak out. So they, they and they show the execution. The guy vibrates and vibrates and then you see just this blood bloody kind of liquid just running down his face. And he's dead, but he's like still shaking. It's just, it's you know you say to yourself, man, I don't care what you did wrong. Outside of being like you know you know Hitler or uh, Bernie Madoff, <laughs> yeah, or Norman Lear. I can't think of anybody else that would deserve <laughs> to be executed that way. <laughs> well, I like the idea of him not dying, of blowing his fingertips <laughs> off and his eyes hanging out of his head. <laughs> and you say, okay, you're free you to go, go now. Carry on. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I can't hey. see the door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You have to like prop his eyes up with coat hangers, you know, just hold them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he wouldn't have the fingers. Right. You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not very humane. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not really the best way to go. Trish's mother was an alcoholic, so if you don't mind. <laughs> No, don't do that. Stop it. Beef. Beef. Put the ashes down. <laughs> I remember, I don't know if you want to share it with our viewers out there, but you had a very innovative 
uh, plan mm -hmm. for what to do with your earthly remains. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like for my body, from aldehyde free, <laughs> I want to go natural here. I would like to be put in a uh, old fashioned pine box, you know, with that weirdo 17th, 18th century shape. I would like that box to be put afloat on Lake Champlain, lit on fire, and then I would like my brothers to be near that floating burning casket with shotguns. And I can, just... Can I come? Oh, yes, I, I would like you to be part of this. And just open fire and set and set thing and just shoot it and shoot it and shoot it until the box breaks into pieces. Of course, everything's going to float. Nothing's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> to the bottom of the lake, rather. And then... Drive away. Just let me float. They're all blown apart. And then the next day, some guy from, like, you know, Hartford, Connecticut, or somebody from Vermont, from Middlebury, is going to be on Lake Champlain saying, Oh, it's such a beautiful sunrise. And his wife's going to go, Ah! She's going to go swimming. You know, she's like, oh, let me go for a swim. And now I'm going to be like this in my hand. Oh. <laughs> she's going to go, Ah! That's what I want. I want some upper class houseboat white lady thinking that the whole world is there just for her and I want her to have that smack in the face finding out you know what not your world <laughs> okay now now just you know put the kerchief back over your blonde hair get back in the in the Lexus and go to the gym because really you don't belong here this is my lake you can go f yourself <laughs> <laughs> so you told me a great story about how in the funeral home your father wanted to give you some responsibility earn a little extra money and you helped prepare an old lady for burial would you tell that story yes john um i guess i was in high school and i could make you know like five bucks helping out uh pete pete the embalmer <laughs> There's a, there's a children's book right there. <laughs> Pete the Obama. <laughs> this week, Pete prepares an old lady. <laughs> so Pete got her all prepared. She was, you know, he put on her makeup and, you know, they did her hair or whatever. And uh, uh, called me in to, uh, to, to take her off this wooden table and put her in the casket. Okay. So I said, I'll take the feet. <laughs> of course of course so so he goes around to the head i go to the feet okay you know one two three lift and i guess she only had one leg <laughs> and the other one was was like a you know like a cardboard leg with a shoe and so that came off and now she just rotated like you know like a barbecue spit thing it just went like that and then you know I let go, <laughs> and she fell on the floor, face down. <laughs> so, Pete's looking at me, I'm looking at her, she starts yelling at me, and I'm like, how the hell was I supposed to know it wasn't real? My father hears all the commotion, comes in, and it's like, like it was like Mo, Larry, and Curly. In and the so meantime, Mo is yelling at and Larry and Curly. What about the lady in the meantime? She's just like... <laughs> I guess not many people have experience moving but I am Italian, so it could be my blood, you know, moving bodies or whatever. So, anyway, so... I, we, we, we gathered her up and, and basically, you know, plopped her in the casket and then he did whatever he had to do to, like, put her back together again. What? Was her nose smashed? <laughs> yeah, she. Well, yeah, it was. She didn't look. She she didn't look as good as she looked before. <laughs> I bet before that she looked great. <laughs> there was this other woman. I didn't you know. What was unusual Wait, about stop, that, that? Stop! Stop! Did you hear what you just said? What? There was another woman. <laughs> I don't think you know what this. That's enough. <laughs> I know I will be there soon for heaven's not so far away.